Good morning you guys, my name is Sam and welcome back to Sam's Garden Project where I am gardening in a suburban lot in the suburbs of Melbourne, Australia. So today we've got some seedlings that need to be planted out. All those seedlings that we planted out a few videos ago, I'm not sure how long ago actually, probably I think it's been about four weeks, maybe more, maybe six weeks, I'm not too sure. But they are more than ready to go in the ground. Um, the beds are cleared and we topped them up with some manure and some bun bone and we are ready, finally, to plant some winter crops in the, in the veggie beds. So here are all the seedling trays. They are well and truly ready to go in the ground. Something has had a nibble of these, the cover that I had on it last night in the wind had blown off. I don't think it's um, any of the cabbage moth caterpillars. I think it would have been like a rat or a possum or something. But I won't plant, actually we'll just plant whatever we can. I do, I am very heavy handed when sowing seeds as you can probably tell by these seedling trays but we've got broccoli ready to go out we've got snowball cauliflower and we've got kohlrabi some celery kale and this looks like silver beet as well as a little bit of lettuce some of these died in the heat we had some hot days a while back snow peas are more than ready to go out a few beetroots, some have died as well, and some baby's breath, those little white flowers used in wedding arrangements. So one thing we have to consider when planting out these cool season um, seedlings is that the brassicas will attract the cabbage moth butterfly, whatever you want to call them, um, and they will decimate the plant, they'll just eat the whole thing. Um, so I need to be, um, kind of plan where I'm going to plant the brassicas and make sure that I have nettings for those garden beds. I have a net here, this one here, so these ones just go over the top and they kind of flip into a latch on the side of the bed down there. I might do a video on how that's set up another time, but all the beds have nettings for them. Um, all the beds have nettings for them, but not all the beds are empty, so I need to make sure that I've got enough nettings out, ready to put on the beds as soon as we plant the brassicas into them. Another thing to consider is the blackbirds and other little birds, they dig up the soil in all the garden beds, so I don't really want um, freshly planted seedlings such as the silver beet and celery and other things that the moth, the cabbage moth butterfly aren't attracted to. I don't want them to get dug up by other birds and then we just lose them as well. So I need to think about some protection to cover pretty much all the seedlings until they're well established and at a good size. The chickens are yelling at me because they can hear me talking, but because I'm going to be planting out seedlings today, unfortunately they're going to have to stay in their coop because I can just see them making a mess and annoying me and digging up everything that we're trying to plant. So sorry chickies, but you're staying in your cage slash coop today. I do also have some onion seedlings, which were from the free box of old seedlings from Bunnings that I got. Um, they're looking a bit ratty but once they're in the ground we'll give them a bit of a fertilize and they'll grow. So first things first, I know I want to put snow peas on this trellis so we'll do the snow peas first.
So the snow peas are all done. They look really good here. I will, once they get a bit bigger, I will get the twine and kind of wrap it down so they have something to climb up as they climb up and around. And then I might put something, some silver bead or something at the end here, something that um, isn't attracted to the butterflies. Um, so I'm not going to cover this bed because the snow peas, they're going to come over and over the top. And so the cover will just be useless. It'll restrict the growth of the snow peas. I'm going to plant the lettuces down the end here because not many of them survived from the heat that we had. And it won't be as tall. So. So in this big bed here, I want to put a lot of the brassicas, a lot of the broccoli and the cauliflower because they can grow tall and big and I've got a big net that goes over the top of this large bed. This one's a bit taller than all the other ones. So let's get some of these in the ground. So the broccoli is in this front section, I'm going to put some cauliflower at the back. Someone down the road has got music blasting as they clean, they've got the vacuum or something's going on. But if it's too noisy in the video, I'll just put music over all this. Welcome to the suburbs. That's that's life, there's always people doing things. So in this bed here, where the beans were that we've just pulled out, I'm gonna put silver beet in this back section because during winter, as the sun goes across, this part is shaded a bit more than the rest of the garden beds because of the lemon tree that we've got and the big olive tree. So I'm gonna plant the silver beet out in this bed and it's also close to chicken so I can always just come and grab a few leaves and chuck it into the chicken coop. just noticed the cabbage butterflies are hovering around the place so I've got the the large garden cover to put on that back bed that we've just planted out with the broccoli and the cauliflower because I don't want them getting eggs laid on them already just as we planted them in the ground so let's quickly cover them and hopefully that they don't have any butterfly eggs on them I'm going to put these beetroot seedlings with the other beetroot seedlings I've got just to keep them all together. I'm going to pull this pumpkin out here. It's got no fruit on it and all the 
female flowers have turned yellow before they've even opened so it's coming out I'll just leave my one vine that's got two fruit on it this one can come out and I can use this space for something else I'm gonna plant these onion seedlings at the back where we've just ripped out the pumpkin So I'm going to plant the baby's breath in this container there. I'm just going to put some more soil on top of it. Some blocking down. So these look good. I'm going to water them in and then put some uh, like sugarcane mulch over the top and also protect them from the birds because the birds love digging this up. So let's water them in first. So in this clip here I'm going to plant out the kohlrabi and the kale and I'm going to put a net over it again because this one is pretty much empty, this bed, except for some potatoes that just pop up everywhere. of seedlings we managed to get through one full one and probably another one we've just got the celery left which I'm gonna wait till it's a bit bigger and I've got some more room to plant them out and just got extra broccoli and cauliflower because I definitely overseeded these I had two rows of both um, I've only got one bed that we planted out with the broccoli and cauliflower and I've got some cauliflower in another bed that's a bit um, further along but when I'm gonna leave these in the trays and when I clear out some beds and got some more room I can do plant them at again so plant out some more broccoli and cauliflower I wasn't I'm surprised at how well they germinated I've, I was pretty heavy-handed with the seeds but um, normally not all of them germinate germinates and then you saw how I was planting them out in clumps and I normally thin them out to the to the biggest or the bestest healthiest seedling once they're established a bit in the ground so thanks for hanging out with me as we got some cool crops in the ground um, it's, I know it's autumn but the season's been terrible so it feels good to just have the next round of plants ready to go we've got snow peas onions broccoli cauliflower kohlrabi kale um, silver beet all the cool winter crops um, so now they're in the ground about half of my garden beds are dedicated to uh, winter crops at the moment and then the other half still have uh, end of season like jalapenos and I don't know beans and pumpkins and whatever else is there growing zucchini but yeah so as things start dying I'll rip them out and replace some of the seedlings of what we've already got ready for winter 
So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it to your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.